Earth observation is informing our society at a time when we face environmental challenges, be it changes in ice at the poles, atmospheric pollution, food security or rising sea levels. ESA's science and research Earth Explorers missions study our evolving planet and deliver data to scientists around the world. The Gochi satellite, for instance, improved measurements of the Earth's gravity field, and Cryosat keeps delivering the first maps of changes in ice thickness at the North Pole or changes in sea level. A future mission called Biomass will examine the state of our forests and determine the amount of biomass and carbon stored there. A family of satellites known as the Sentinels is already monitoring our planet as part of the European Commission's Earth observation programme, Copernicus. ESA will make sure that new satellites will continue to deliver what is needed to understand the future of Earth. We are addressing uh, uh, a number of issues that relate to the development of new science, but also operational missions. For example, Earth Explorer missions, the scientific missions, but also we are preparing the next generation of Sentinel missions for Copernicus. The science from ESA's missions is making an invaluable contribution to a planetary health check. This data is not only useful for scientists, it will also provide a future economic benefit through helping to develop business in Europe. But ESA's main objective is to take space technology to the next level, while making sure that data from its satellites is available for everyone. The impact will be uh, everywhere uh, in society. For example, we have done a study recently where it was proven that one euro invested in Copernicus, in Earth observation, brings up to 10 euros back to the society. So really, uh, science is converted to business, and these uh, business ideas are really good for job growth, for employment, for economic growth, which is absolutely required, and space is at the service of the people by supporting this. The Directorate's proposals will cover everything from satellite development to providing long-term data on climate change. Data exploitation projects and public-private partnerships can also develop the commercial Earth observation sector. In the next five to ten years in Earth observation, we will face a number of challenges, some of them coming from outside big data, constellations, commercial companies entering our domain. And I think there we really have to see, as ESA, as European Space Agency, a public institution, how we can best react to these external challenges and position ourselves with our programs to, to really address these challenges from our perspective. The challenges within Earth observation will be to deliver the new observation techniques required in the future in order to further improve Earth observation for the scientific, business and environmental needs of Europe and beyond.